hello YouTube in this video tutorial we're gonna show you how to install v2 ray on OpenWRT we had another video uh, which was shared a couple of uh, months ago uh, and some of you reported that it was not functioning anymore so we like to remake the video with the newest version of uh, v2 ray actually so the newest version is actually called v2 ray there is an additional a along with v2 ray so it's technically v2 r a y a so this one has a really good interface and pretty much support most of the uh, protocols that uh, v2 ray or shadow shocks has to offer and eventually it's allow you to use shocks 5 or uh, I think for proxy something like that so that's why it's actually multi protocol supported uh, proxy system in the open WRT so let's see how we're gonna use uh, install that in order to install uh, these packages uh, I would highly recommend you need to have at least 16 megabytes of uh, flash storage in your router so that you can install that without any issue uh, however, it's uh, it's remote. I mean, recommended to have even more. So, since this is our lab uh, VM, so we have actually x64 uh, 64 bit VM, which allow which have pretty much uh, 256 megabytes of storage. I think. Yeah, it's almost. We have plenty of storage in here. So let's get started. So we're gonna SSH our OpenWRT router first. So, so if you have putty, you're gonna connect it and the router is a name, password. Okay, we are inside. Now we gonna we have uh, this set of commands so basically you're gonna follow this command in order to install these packages so i'm gonna explain a little bit in here so first we need to remove uh, dns mask package uh, the basic dns mask package actually will i mean it will not allow you to uh, perform all this operation and therefore you need to remove that and you need the full version of that packages so if you perform uh, open uh, opk you, if you can go to here like in software uh, if you click on install you can see that dns mask just regular version is installed so we need to remove that so if you click remove from here uh, it will uh, causes your internet will be a loss or you, pro you it will not lose your internet connection but the dns resolver will not work so we have to do this from the command line we cannot uh, use uh, the interface okay so let's go to the command line and we're gonna copy this two line exactly so you can do the first line and you can copy the second line if you want so let's go and do the first line and make sure you already have internet connection in your router otherwise you cannot do that so basically what it does is update the packages and download the dns mask full which will be installed later and it's require uh, it's going to install the dependency packages and the second command which is we actually going to remove the dns mask and then we're going to install dns mask from temporary directory which we downloaded earlier so enter and it's gonna remove dns mask and install dns mask full so you can ignore that because uh, it's having conflict with previous packages so no issue so once it's installed uh, you probably need a w get package otherwise you can actually download this file uh, if you click on if you open that link you can download the pub file and then you can copy it to this directory if you don't have uh, wget 
packages in your OpenWRT. And because someone, uh, some people have very low resources, that's why they they don't install WGET. So in this case, uh, we're gonna install WGET uh, because we have plenty of storage. So OPKD install WGET. So we already have it. That's why it's not gonna install. So we're gonna copy that. So it's downloaded the key file. Now we're gonna add the repository. Like this is their repository, new re new repository. Before uh, previous one was not working. So let's go and do that. And once you have done that. Uh, we have to update the packages again so I actually combined all of these lines in I mean in one command so you can actually copy these and perform that and so we're gonna just install copy whole line and install that enter that so it will update the packages and then it will it will download okay i think there is an error so let's copy from here sometimes if you see any error then i think it's so it's better to restart the router uh, then we're gonna continue that one so let's reboot Let's try to reconnect the router again. Okay, so if we try to do OPKG update, let's see what happens. Okay, it's updating. Now we're gonna we you know copy the whole command and try to do it again. So it's going to take some time. Okay, let's make some changes. So there was a character mistake in here. So we fix that and let's try to update again and it should also install the packages so now it's downloading the v2ray then it's going to download the x core x i mean v2 uh, x-ray core and then v2ray app and another package uh, it's required so it says no problem so it says that there's no file for x2 and so no issue so if that is done then you can perform a reboot for better router optimization and we should not see any error that's what we need to ensure first i think it's rebooted let's refresh this page okay we go to service you can see v2 ray here it says not running so we're gonna click enable and then save and apply so if you like to expose it to internet you can actually put 127.0.0.1 if you want or you can just keep it as it is okay save apply It says uh, V2Ray running, open web interface. If you click that, it's, it will let you open a new interface. 
so it says username you, you need to create an admin account first so let's keep the same way uh, as our router okay so the v2 ray interface is this is the interface and if you install everything you should not have any error in here otherwise it should ask for GUIP or GUIP site that file is missing something like that so first we need to import a configuration so I actually created a temporary uh, old, uh, outline server so I'm gonna just copy that outline server key and then paste it here and then if you click on go server you can see the server I added so now we need to make some changes in order to connect that so now we're gonna go in settings then we're gonna perform the update uh, it's, it's gonna download or pull uh, the IP list uh, for Chinese or Chinese firewall sites I think so here uh, it's already updated so now I'm gonna do the modification in here like uh, it should be you can choose any of that but since uh, we are not in China that case we can just only select this one and then the transparent proxy system you should just do not split traffic you can do that or you can make changes according your needs so the rest of the world can follow this one but for China Iran or Russia for other countries which have intense blocking they can probably use rest others so I'm gonna go do not split traffic and save and apply refresh so it's saved we can check that from here yep okay so now we can click on the server that we added and then we're gonna test ping that if the server is alive so it's actually alive if we click HTTPS it's also fine so now once it's jagged you're gonna click connect and it's connected already then here you're gonna click start give it a couple of seconds now we're gonna check my IPMS and see if our IP address is changed or not so you can see the IP address is changed this is the server IP address of, of outline server IP address so this way you can actually add more server and you can just change from here so let's just disconnect that one and you can just import another server and that's how you're gonna do it so another interesting thing is here like you can you can actually use regular shocks 5 proxy in here so you don't need to use complicated packages if you use this one and this one uh, this v2ray support v2ray uh, shadow shocks shadow shocks uh, are frozen and there's a couple of other protocol which seems new so, and eventually you can use HTTP proxy I believe so that's all about the tutorial if you have any question let us know in comment section we will try our best to respond thank you